Hi there, Colin here from Precision Optics Eyewear. In this video, I'm basically showing you an order that's come through from a client. They've got a pair of designer Ralph Lauren sunglasses. These are non-prescription and they have asked me to make a pair of prescription lenses which are a bit darker and higher quality than what they put in here. Now, normally that's absolutely fine. A couple of things to think about though. Traditionally, you know, sunglasses have quite a, a, a big wide lens obviously to give you coverage. Think about it from a prescription point of view though, not all sunglasses frames like this are going to be suitable for your prescription depending upon what your prescription is. This prescription isn't too bad, we've got about a plus one and a plus one seven five prescription here that we've put in. So there's not uh, too much of an issue with that. If you've got a much higher prescription that's when it can become tricky. One thing to bear in mind is one, your pupil distances and in terms of the frame shape. So if you've got quite a narrow distance between each eye and you've got quite a wide frame that can limit you to some things as well, so just bear that in mind. Another thing to look at is in terms of the lenses. Quite often these lenses are made and manufactured in a different way to how we would cut and make prescription lenses. There's normally a different type of bevel uh, and chamfer on here. You can see the angle on that there. And sometimes that means that the rim of the frame, the internal rim in here, can't accommodate a normal prescription lens bevel. This seems absolutely fine, but again, that's another thing that might be worth checking. Some more, uh, you know, different types of brands such as Oakley and Ray-Ban, some of their sunglasses frames have quite a, uh, a unique bevel. I know uh, Prada do a couple of sunglasses where it's actually a, a different type of bevel completely, which can restrict your options. So don't just go buying any sunglasses and think, yep, yeah, we can pop a prescription in there. Um, 9 out of 10 of them will be okay, but you don't want to go spending lots of money to find out that it can't be done. So we're going to cut these lenses here, these two, uh, into the frame. This is the client's prescription. This is basically a normal tinted lens, so it's not polarised, so it won't cut out glare, but it's going to give good UV protection and make everything nice and dark. We've also incorporated on the back side an anti-reflective coating. You can see how there's hardly any bright, harsh reflections. Obviously, you're not going to get rid of everything. But that's an anti-reflective coating on the back compared to one without it. You can see there, there's quite a big difference. Okay, so yeah, they're both capturing the same image. As you can see, there's much more reflections, it's much harsher on the one that hasn't got the backside anti-reflective coating. This one here is going to be really good at help reduce any reflections of your own eye on the back of the lens. Uh, or reflections of your own face on the back of the lens when you're wearing it and just give you better clarity as well. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to get them cut, put them through the machine, insert the new lenses and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Check the shape of the frame, looks good to me. Time to put our first lens in. That's all set to go. Set the bevel position, all looks good, and let's cut. All done. Let's take it out and have a little look. There we go. That's our lens. Get that dry, get it into the frame, and cut the other side. So while I'm cutting the other lens, I'm just going to give this a dry and I'm going to check the fit roughly. Obviously, we'd use a little bit of heat, but I'm just going to see how it is for size. I don't want to heat the frame up and try to push this in and up damaging the frame. So yeah, I think we could get away with heating this up and getting that lens to fit nicely. If the lens is too big, one, you could end up chipping the lens or damaging and splitting the frame or both if you're super unlucky. Obviously if the lens is too small, it's not going to be suitable to stay in the frame. It could be loose, it could fall out. So we're going to heat that up and get that popped in there. 
Here comes the trusty frame heater or the optical hair dryer as some of you have called it before. So heat that up. You don't need a lot of heat, just enough to make the frame a little bit softer, get the material a little bit warm. This can sometimes get a little bit tricky with gloves on because you can end up getting a bit of the glove caught in the frame. Like that. So there we go, I've gone temple, bridge. There we go, and click that in at the bottom part there. And the reason why I kept the pad on is because if the lens was too big and I didn't feel it was going to be um, a good fit, I could have put this lens back on the machine, run it around a few times just to cut a little bit down, um, and then that would have fitted much better. But that is a good fit the first time. The other lens is just done now. Okay, so I'm not going to assume that this lens is also perfectly fine. For the sake of checking, it'll take two seconds. Again, if you've got a frame that's got an anti-reflective coating, which you can tell by... In fact, you've got like a green reflex or a mauvey reflex. Make sure you don't expose this to heat because you can damage the coating. Um, and if you basically do that and you were to take it back to your eyewear supplier or provider, they're going to know that it's damaged from heat. It's quite obvious when you see something like that. So um, unfortunately, that wouldn't be something that would be covered normally on something like a manufacturer's guarantee or warranty. So just bear that in mind. If you are heating anything up yourself, like some people like to do adjustments at home uh, themselves, make sure you don't expose this to heat. There we go. So. This is the ticket, confirms all the prescriptions are accurate, and that's job done. Right, so let's have a quick look. This is the finished piece, all cleaned up nicely. I think these lenses are really nice in terms of the colour with the frame, especially with the gold, works quite well. So you've got the brown tint in the prescription with that lovely anti-reflective coating on the back. You can see from here, from the old ones, that's a bit wet. You can see the amount of reflection that the old lenses had. These are the ones that are factory from the, when the sunglasses were made. So you can see the amount of reflection that we've managed to reduce in terms of the quality of the of the lenses. So that goes to show anti-reflective coatings definitely make a, a difference there. So that's the whole lot done. Thanks for watching. Any questions you've got, pop in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them.